Hello and welcome. The new case in basics of normal distribution and that is in an examination number of students are 500 mean of the marks that is mu in normal distribution is 52 standard deviation of marks that is small sigma in normal distribution 8 find percent and number of students getting marks greater than 60 percent and number of students getting marks greater than 60 so first we have to calculate the probability of x greater than 60 probability of any students getting marks more than 60 and if we multiply the probability by 100 the result will be percent of students of the total students and if we multiply the probability by total number of students 500 the result will be number of students getting marks more than 50 so first of all it is a normal case of calculation of probability in normal distribution let us think that x takes value exactly 60 z is x minus mean upon standard deviation so it is 60 minus 52 upon 8 that is 8 by 8 so z takes value 1 never confuse yourself z equals to 1 with the total any under the normal curve no there is no relationship between these two things now the sketch x equals to mu equals to 52 and since x is 60 greater than mean it falls in the right hand side region here x is 60 and z is exactly 1 now we are interested in marks greater than 60 not exactly 60 so it is tradition to draw this line as a dotted line where we are not interested in x exactly equivalent to 60 we are interested in this region of course there is no change in calculation process but we are interested in the value of x greater than 60 only and not exactly 60 again this is the case of extreme right hand side region we cannot calculate probability of this particular region directly but we know that the area of the right hand side region entire right hand side region is 0.5 and the area between z0 and z1 is directly available from the tables so if we subtract that area from 0.5 the remaining area is probability of x greater than 60 and the area between z0 and z1 is 0.3413 we are not interested in this much area so let us subtract it so the probability of x taking value greater than 60 comes to 0.5 the area of the entire right hand side region minus 0.3413 the area in which we are not interested so the remaining area is 0.1587 this is probability of any student getting mass more than 60 in this particular case now percent of students getting marks more than 60 equals to p of x greater than 60 into 100 that is 0.1587 into 100 therefore it comes to 15.87 percent that means out of 500 the total number of students 15.87 percent students obtain marks greater than 60 the second is number of students number of students getting marks more than 60 that will be p of x greater than 60 marks more than 60 multiplied by total number of students that is 500 at this stage so it will be 0.1587 into 500 and that comes to 79.35 students can never be in a fractional value number of students is always an integer so it is approximately 79 students so out of 500 total number of students appeared in the examination 79 obtained marks greater than 60 that's it thank you